There go my predictions for WWE Payback 2023. Let's get into it. So I'll just start with the Grayson Waller segment with Cody Rhodes. What is going to happen during this segment? I don't really know what to expect. Could this lead to a Grayson and Cody feud? Not really sure since both guys are on different brands, but let's be honest, the brand split doesn't really matter anyway because you got The Miz going to SmackDown, LA Knight going to Raw, Dom's on NXT, like the brand split doesn't really matter anyway, so it possibly could lead to a Grayson and Cody feud, which should be fine, or somebody could interrupt the segment and maybe that could be Cody's next big feud. I just don't know who would interrupt it, but we'll see what happens, man. I'm interested to see, you know, what this possibly leads to. Now let's dive into the matches. We have Rhea Ripley versus Raquel Rodriguez for the WWE Women's World title. I definitely 100% have Rhea winning, but I'm hoping this will start to lead to a feud between Rhea and Raquel for a period of time because Rhea has yet to have a legit serious major feud since she's been the champion and this could help catapult Raquel in the main event scene on the main roster like she was in NXT. So it could be a win-win for both, but I got Rhea winning. Even though both guys are on two different brands, we have LA Knight versus The Miz. I definitely have LA Knight winning as he should. You know, The Miz is one of the most accomplished superstars on the roster and he's all about putting people over to try to help other talent he's done that numerous times and I think LA Knight's time to shine for sure he's got to get you know the push started for him where you could start to maybe put him in the main event scene eventually. Sammy and KO versus the Judgment Day members, Damian Priest and Finn Balor. Sammy and KO win for sure. It's going to continue to cause more friction between Finn and Damian and the Judgment Day. I'm sure JD McDonough might have, you know, an involvement in the smash where maybe he accidentally cost him the tag titles. What if he helps them win, though? Like, I don't think they'll win, but if he does help them win, maybe that'll lead to JD joining the Judgment Day. That's also a thought right there that I'm throwing out. But I think Sammy and KO keep the tag titles, and then the friction between, you know, Finn and Damian gets more intense. Huge steel cage match between Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus. I definitely have Becky Lynch winning to end the feud between her and Trish. It's been a long going feud, but I think it's time to end it, and I think the cage match is where it's going to end. Becky has yet to receive a big victory over Trish that she's been seeking, you know, a satisfying victory. So I think I pay back going to get it. Expect interference from Zoe Stark. Maybe Lita finally comes back and shows up since Trish is the one that took her out and they lost the tag titles afterwards. So you know, we haven't seen Lita on TV since. So that could play a factor to help Becky get the dub over Trish because you know Zoe's going to get involved. So uh, Becky for the dub here and then she moves on to something else. And if Trish sticks around, she also moves on to something else. U.S. title match, Rey Mysterio defending against Austin Theory. I got Rey Mysterio retaining. I still believe that Rey Mysterio is going to drop the U.S. title to Santos Escobar. Then Santos is going to turn on Rey Mysterio, kicking him out the LWO. I think that's what they're setting up. Austin Theory getting the rematch. Okay, he can get his rematch against Rey, but his run as U.S. champion was very mid, you know, in, in the end. You know, in the beginning, it started off very good, but after WrestleMania, it just pff, all went downhill. And I don't see them putting the title back on Austin Theory, especially after he's lost it. So, Rey Mysterio for the dub. The World Heavyweight title, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Seth Rollins. I really, 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 with the capital R, really want Shinsuke to win this match. He is long overdue for a world title push on the main roster. He should have became WWE Champion back in 2018 and beat AJ Styles at WrestleMania 34. I know his reactions have died down. His hype has died down over the years because of the way he was positioned and booked, but... Oh man, Shinsuke, I really want him to be the world champion. Like, Seth Rollins is great, and I do think Seth Rollins is going to win. I just don't see them taking the title off of Seth just yet. I think he's going to have a proper lengthy run as champion, but uh, I'm rooting for Shinsuke, man. My heart is rooting for Shinsuke. I really want Shinsuke to get that moment and get that world title run. Like, it's long overdue for him. It's long overdue for him, but I just, it's hard for me to see them taking it off Seth right now.